Hi everyone. Welcome to the Echo S project. Echo S is a Final Fantasy VII PC mod that features a full overhaul of the game, containing new features such as full voice acting, day and night time cycles, weather system, and even custom made FMVs. All made possible by Tsunamix, the founder of the project. I'm Christian, the new director in charge of the voice acting in the project. This project has been in development for three to four years, and we all want to see it completed. The fanbase has grown since the release of Final Fantasy VII Remake, and the anticipation and expectation of this mod is at an all-time high. Which is what we're going to implement here. A focus on the quality completion of the Echo S mod. So things in this video are things to expect in Phase 1 of the project. Phase 1. We'll start this reboot with a casting call, calling everyone to re-audition for major and minor roles. This will help wipe the slate clean, and reassess the commitments of those already cast and, well for me to get a better sense of everyone's willingness to complete the game script in a timely fashion. If you previously held a role, please re-audition. I know it might be difficult for a lot of you who've held roles for such a long time, especially if you were sitting on your hands waiting for lines, well only to find yourself having to re-audition anyway. I completely understand what you're feeling. But you also have to take into account that you were cast by Tsunamix and the other managers, and this is essentially a refranchising of the voice cast. A lot of the casting decisions were made three years ago, and, well, things have changed considerably since. Well, outside of the fact that people have come and gone, we also have to consider the remake and its impact on the general perception of the Final Fantasy VII voices. Aww, you're choosing me over the reactor? That's sweet, but I'll wait my turn. Go blow her mind. For example, we know that a lot of the initial reaction to Cloud's new voice actor were negative. Gotta give it my all! But as the game released, people easily adopted him as the new Cloud. Nailed it, I know, thank you, moving on. However, the reception for the new Sephiroth was not met with nearly the same amount of conversion. Despite the improvement to the delivery and direction, the voice became very difficult for fans to adopt. So we're playing a whole different field here. We want to create a good balance of new and familiar voices, something that won't break the player immersion, and so that we can provide players a satisfactory Echo S experience. What does this mean for your auditions? Well, this means that we're going to assess carefully how the voices match up. Do your best and bring the character to life as much as you can. You're allowed to give in as many auditions as you want for as many roles as you want. If there's a character you really like, go ahead and give us different versions of that character. By the way, we do not have a policy against casting an actor with multiple roles. It's all about if they can accomplish it and if they can uphold the quality required. So what else does that mean for your auditions? It means that you don't have to worry about auditioning for any or all the roles you like. If we were aiming at purely diversifying the cast, then you'd pretty much have to worry about your audition for one role affecting your chances for another. And listen, you don't have that constraint, so go all out. If you look at the casting call links we posted in the description below, I've divided the roles into these categories. These are characters with a substantial amount of lines. We're talking 200 or above. Characters like Tifa or Aerith. The way we're going about voice renditions for these roles are more flexible since the player will have, well, plenty of time to get used to the voice. These are characters with large number of lines. It's between 60 to 100 lines. These are characters like Sephiroth or Red 13, or even Bugenhagen. While there will be flexibility with these characters, we're trying to find a good balance between novelty and legacy voices. These are characters with a significant role but not as many lines as the other characters. We're talking in between 30 to 50 lines. Characters like Vincent or Hojo. These voices will have far less creative allowances. See, the fans already have a strong preconception of the voices, and if we stray too far, then we're afraid this might create a dissociation or a dissonance for the players. These are characters that have between 20 to 50 lines. These are characters that have a bulk of the lines in a given segment of the script, but whose roles kind of end afterwards. So characters like President Shinra, Dime, or Dio, these roles have a lot of creative allowances, but aren't characters you can go crazy with. Think of them as short major roles. Minor B. These are characters that have lines peppered pretty much all over the script, which makes them named characters higher than NPCs. Characters like Biggs, Wedge, Jesse, Palmer, Scarlet, even Chocobilly. 
These will have a lot of freedom. Even if some of them have sort of pre-existing voices like Scarlet or Palmer, we're more or less open to original renditions. Minor C characters. These are your unnamed characters, NPCs if you will. These roles are littered all over the script, and anyone can fill them in at any time, some roles larger than others. But they have pure creative freedom, so pretty much go wild. This will not be in the casting call by the way, and will instead be in the Sunamod's Discord server. And if it wasn't clear before, just be sure to have a decent mic. You can be denied a role based on the setup you're working with. Now if you've looked through the casting call, you might be asking, where are Cloud and Barrett? Well, the answer is, they're already precast. And before you scream injustice, let me tell you why. These right here are the line counts for the major A roles. Those numbers you see there? Those are the amount of lines that that character has, spanning all four discs. Now these are the line counts for Cloud and Barrett. Do you see where I'm going? Between the two roles, we have over 2,000 lines that have to be done in less than 160 days. So essentially, whoever possesses these roles can effectively hold the project hostage. See, for the major A roles, it's possible to have one recast within the 160 days and pretty much still make it to deadline. But for Cloud and Barrett, the risk and responsibility are way too high. So, I will be voicing Cloud and Barrett for the project. I was initially cast as both of them to begin with, and, well, you can't really divorce me from the project since I'm the one directing it. Here's a sample of my Cloud and Barrett. Alright, let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Hmm. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are, that you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! Looks like you're right, soldier boy. Screw this! The station will be crawling with security. We gotta jump! Okay, now you can scream injustice. In the next video, I'll talk about phase two. Until then, good luck with your auditions!